I'm Dr. Margaret Lafferty from the 2017 Hot Topics in Neonatology Conference here in Washington, D.C. I'm joined with Dr. by Dr. Carl Backus from Nationwide Children's Hospital, and we're here to talk about um, his talk on catheter-based closure of PDA. Uh, welcome, Dr. Backus. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So um, first off, what would you say is the overall objective of your talk? Sure. So um, catheter-based closure of the PDA is really the procedure of choice for infants beyond one year of age. Um, but recently there's some data suggesting that it can be applied to infants less than one year of age and maybe even useful in our population of lower weight infants. And so we wanted to look into and explore and scrutinize, to be honest, some of the data um, applying catheter-based closure uh, among a lower weight infant population. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more about um, the details of that and what you found? Sure, so um, we found that the procedure is not without risks. Um, there's generally perception about a 10% risk of a major adverse event with catheter-based closure among lower weight infants. Um, with that said, we have a, a pretty good handle on the, the feasibility, which is high, so that the device can be successfully placed. The risk profile, like I mentioned, is about 10% risk of a major adverse event. Um, but what does that mean? There's been no comparative trials of surgical ligation versus catheter-based closure. There's been no comparative trials of catheter-based closure versus any intervention. So really, it doesn't provide a whole lot of context to the neonatologist on if they should use it or not. Hmm. What are the benefits to catheter-based closure? The, the perceived benefits are you avoid um, an open chest procedure like you would uh, with catheterization. Um, there's also a lot of data, and I brought this up in my talk, a lot of data on the association between surgical ligation and adverse outcomes, if it be BPD, neurodevelopment, um, post-cardiac ligation syndrome. So I just wanted to make sure that providers don't trade the known risks of surgical ligation really for the unknown risks of catheter-based therapy. And while it may be a less invasive form of intervention, we, we don't know the, all the details yet, especially we don't have a lot of good long-term data to tell us what to do. Sure. Um, what would you say is one main overall objective or one main learning point that you would like the audience to take away from your talk? Sure. And I think given the trends nationally for conservative therapy with PDA management and given our data suggesting that the procedure can be formed with a threefold risk in the reduction beyond 30 days of life, I think there is equipoise for a randomized controlled trial of infants with a continued um, PDA beyond 30 days of life to be randomized really to continued conservative therapy or catheter based therapy because that's really the only way we're going to answer the fundamental question of whether closing or not closing the ductus is actually beneficial. That's great. Um, and I think you sort of hinted at this already, but what, um, what are the next steps? Where do we go from here? Yeah, I mean, I think we need to look as a, as a community to see if there is equipoise mm -hmm. for a randomized trial. Mm -hmm. I think there is, especially um, with some of the evidence on the potential benefits of catheter-based closure. But I do think it warrants uh, rigorous um, a rigorous and, and a well-developed trial to, to sort those questions out. Great. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Backus. That's a wrap from the 2017 Hot Topics in Neonatology Conference here in Washington, D.C.